Yes, indeed. Come on, I want to see what Wendy's talking about today. But I'm just saying, you know, that you talk to me, no, because you look like your ass should be off the phone and your ass should be in school. How about that? I'm thinking about getting shirts made that say N.O. Because that seemed to be everywhere. So, <clears throat> I may have a few of those for DragCon. You know, see how those really market off and stuff like that. I will have a spectacular day, love, and I hope the same for you as well as everybody else. My day is always spectacular. For, for one, I woke up. Everything is moving. Everything is still in good order. My brain, my heart, my mind, my soul. I ain't getting a phone call saying my mom passed away, my daddy passed away, my sister and my brothers. That's a good thing. Nobody in my family passed away that I know of. Everything is fine. But on the main part, I'm cute over here. You know, it's always spectacular over here, Jill. But I always need the, the help and the love and the guidance, Jill. No, the merch is not only for DragCon. That's when the, work, the, the merch will be for sale. Because I can't be doing the order now and then all of that. And I know people want it now because a lot of people was like, oh my God, I need one, I need one. Baby, just let me work. I haven't even got the shirts made yet. That's today. I'm getting shirts done, buttons done. And I get back on Tuesday, or do I get back on Monday? I get back on Tuesday. So that means <clears throat> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All my shit going to be done within the next week. Everything I'm taking to DragCon. The shirts, the pins, photos. Done. I don't know who that is you asking me about, Jeff. To the LBC? Oh, LBC. The Long Beach. I'm going to start mix mixing in my Snoop and all the NWA and all that when I start working in the LBC some more. It's time for me to start sea walking. It's summertime. You know, I'm in the LBC. I probably, well, no, I never get to smoke in 20 breaks because I can't go out the side door. I love you too. You find me in LA. Uh, I won't be nowhere live this week or next week. I don't know about next week. This week, I won't be anywhere. I'm just chilling. And then I leave and then I come back. So you may catch me in Salt Lake City. Yeah, I, I'll be there. Baby, it is not Anna. It's and I. So I've I seen the thing with the girl and the name, but that's not what I said. So you can't come over here telling me stuff or saying stuff that I didn't say. Especially if you're trying to tell me something that I said. That was cute, but that wasn't nothing to be uh, going for because that ain't what I said. Somebody just made it, you know, but whatever the case may be. That's not too much of a flatter, Jer. That's more of like cheating and copying and faking, Jer. And I'm not the faker, Jer. You have to do what I said. So that's the valid part. You know, like pop the corns and throw the, uh, and feed the children. That's not what I said. That's not my line. So when people come say that, I just look at them like they're crazy because that ain't what I said. So don't come with me with no shirt that's saying pop the corn so and feed the children or something weird because that ain't what I said. People have had that sign, had a shirt, everything. Can you sign this? That's not what I said. I didn't say that. You go down there and have them sign it. 
But I can't sign shit that ain't, ain't what I said. <clears throat> you know, it's crazy. Yeah, they change my words all the time. Baby, that is not what I said. I can tell you that's not what I said. I said what I said, but that's not what I said. Then they'd be like, oh, that's rude. No, it's not, because baby, I didn't say that. I can't take credit for somebody else's shit. Is your water clean? My water is not clean, Jeff. My water don't have no reason being clean. At all. No, because people, um, people <clears throat> be always saying stuff that I say, but they never say what I say. They say their own stuff. And I just looked at them like, what you want me to do? <laughs> because that ain't what I said. <laughs> what do you want me to do and say? Because that ain't what I said. I don't know what you're talking about. Like this one guy came with a nice picture of me uh, on a shirt, everything on there. Baby, where'd you get that from? Oh, I bought it off this website. Oh, well, baby, I'm not signing that. That ain't mine. Now, if you would have got that made on your own, I would have signed it. But you bought that from a website. That ain't that ain't mine. You got to have them sign that. So you go find out whoever you bought it from, have them sign it. I ain't signing it. Because that ain't mine. So people get gagged. You can't get gagged. Dude, that's not my job. You bought it from somebody else's shit. No. No, ma'am. Decline. <clears throat> I'm not going to copyright uh, and I oop and all that stuff because that's stupid to copyright. Now, just, I have that already. I've had just almost for a year and a half, two years now. But the copyright and I oop, that's nothing. <clears throat> you know, that's, that ain't nothing to copyright. And ain't nobody going to be sitting here copywriting every fucking thing I say. I know I'm not. <clears throat> I am not about to copyright everything I say that people get intrigued by. I just, I just can't. I, it, just, it just doesn't. I, I just can't. I would be sitting there copywriting every fucking thing. Because I'm pretty sure there's shit out there you guys probably haven't even. There's shit out there that I haven't seen on myself yet. Ain't no telling what the fuck they done made a meme out of me saying anything. Because if y'all, if they take an and I oop to the next level, and I get because the whole situation, of, you know, the, the motion, the, the visual of it and everything, but people are just like, and girl, it's like, and I oop. And I'm like, wait, what? How did that fit in? But they it's used now. As like, you know, bitch, I was about to, but bitch, I was, and I whoop, and I just left it alone. People are just using it. I'm just like, oh shit, this is crazy. But I don't have time to be doing all that paperwork and spending all my coins. It's a lot. It's a lot. So, I'm going to have my shirt done and say, and I whoop, and all that. Y'all know I'm the bitch that started it and started saying it. You know, because the video, y'all, somebody cutting and made that like that. So, picking breakfast. Oh, hey, baby, how are you? You cooking breakfast? Christian, when are we smoking? I'm waiting on you, Jeff. I thought I had given you my phone number. Well, between you and me, today, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I have nothing to do. I am free and sober. Sober on working. <laughs> Other than that, I don't have nothing to do. Christian, no, my water is not clean, Jeff. I had Fruity Pebbles this morning. I had some spaghetti this morning. I had chocolate cookies, uh, chocolate chip cookies this morning. Baby, my water is not clean.
we can just let me know. I have nothing to do. Everything that I really need to do, I'm doing that shit today because I have nothing to do. Shit. And I'm doing shit early because I have nothing to do. I was thinking, what bill do I need to pay? Don't have a bill to pay. Party pay that shit. I'm going to get tea and coffee. I'm saying this. Shit, sometimes you may need both, Jim. I have nothing to do, Jim. Okay, that's hot. But I have nothing to do, Jim. <laughs> I have nothing to do. I'm just here. Yeah. When I get back to Houston, I haven't even... My drag is not even unpacked in Houston. I just have... Some of my stuff unpacked in the closet, and it's small as fuck. It's cramped. It's irritating. So I have to change the whole second bedroom, like I did here, into a closet. I need shelves all the way around. One long-ass shelf all the way around. And I need rods so I can fucking hang up my clothes. I just have a lot of fucking shit. You wish that was you? Okay, oh, baby. It can't be one day. I don't know. You know, I don't know. I just, I just always thought ahead. You know, when you get an extra little change, if you can pay your rent half up or even get half of it out the way, do it. Pay that shit up. Just say, fuck it. This whole month, I'm just going to take all my money and pay my rent up. Fuck it. You can do it. You've been broke before for a month. You can do it. You don't need money. Now that you pay your bills. Shit. Thank you, uh, baby Chloe. My favorite song to perform, uh, You Are My Friend by Patti LaBelle. If I could do that every day and not every show I went to, I would. <clears throat> How often do I buy a new drag? Pretty much every day. I'm buying something. Either it's hair, jewelry, makeup, uh, cl fabric, or some clothes, or some shoes. I don't know. I'm always buying something for drag. Oh, I'm buying fabric to get something made. It's just pretty much every day. Because, you know, you have ideas, a song come on, you end up liking the song, you learn the song, and then you're like, okay, I need to get this made. It's, it's, it's a lot, you know, uh, pretty much every day. I'm 42, and I'll be 43 October 16th. It's, I hear it's hot in Houston. Well, it's going to be hot in Houston, but I don't know about over here. You know, over here it's cool, but in Houston, it's super hot. Wish I were a real... No, I never wish I was a real woman, Jen. No. Mm -mm. Drag is very expensive, Jen. What's my favorite country to visit? I don't know. I haven't visited them all. Thank you. I had a wonderful time in Manchester. <clears throat> I am happy for Wendy, Jen. I'm happy that she got out of that situation, whatever it was, because she look a lot happier. Anybody who's going through some type of bullshit, I just want them to be happy. And I don't think people should really get in there. That's why I'm pretty much in my own job, because I cannot be dealing with bullshit. You know. You have a great day, too. <clears throat> I still perform Erica Badu Jen. When am I coming to the UK? I hope again soon. Because I buy you taco, but you sure can. You sure can. You absolutely can. And I, 10 tacos is all I need. 10 tacos. 10. Simple. They'll be gone in about three minutes, but give me 10 tacos. 
Thank you. Oh, well, I'm just myself, but thank you. I'll tell your co-worker I said hi. And y'all, don't talk. You girl, you already know the rules. Don't get your asses fired calling me time I got fired because I can't pay no bills. I'm, 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 I'm tight. I'm tight when it comes to bills, Jen. I'm tight. All my money gone. And Tim is almost got saying, I'm just finally able to. Catch it out when you come to New Jersey or Philly anytime soon. I would love to come to both. Ten, yeah, not, give me some water. Because I don't like soda and all that shit. But see, that's if you eat tacos over here and Taco Bell over here. But when you go <clears throat> in the UK or outside of the United States, the food over there is a thousand times better. Because they don't play that bullshit with the meat. They don't play that bullshit with the food. They don't give you all that. Over here, they feed us anything and we eat it. Over there, they ain't having that. And that motherfucking taste on that food was perfection. When I say I was fucking them tacos up. And my fa well, I didn't fuck up the burritos because they didn't have green sauce. Trash. So I was like, mm. well, let me just try it. It's like, nah, okay, I had it. It, 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 it. it needs, it needs the green sauce. But them tacos. Oh my God. Taco Bell is close to four o'clock. And I was at Taco Bell. Bitch, I'm finna fuck this food up. Fuck y'all. Poor little Dusty Ray Bottoms. That bitch was so woe out. That bitch was so woe out of um, Taco Bell. She was like, girl, I don't think I can eat Taco Bell again. I said, bitch, this ain't for your stomach. This for mine. <laughs> I didn't say you had to eat it. I said, bitch, I'm eating Taco Bell. We can go anywhere you want to go. I'm deciding I want to go to Taco Bell. Then I asked her, Dusty, <laughs> how do you like the burritos? Uh, how do you like the food over here? Me and Taco Bell. Dusty going to tell me, you know, it kind of tastes like I could have made these at home. Well, bitch, I think that's the point. So then she said, I don't know how I feel. Well, bitch, you should feel great if it feel like, and it tastes like you made them at home. The other shit you feeling, bitch, are eating, that's not Taco Bell. That's some bullshit. You done, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> bitch, that's the point. It tastes like home, bitch. That's real food, bitch. Chew up. Then I asked her in the morning, well, how was your water? Did you have the splatters or did you have stool? Then he said, what? Girl, did you have the Hershey squirts at your ass or did you shit? And she had regular shit. I told you. If it was Taco Bell over here, baby, as soon as that taco would hit your tongue, Hit your nostrils. Bitch, you would have been sprinting to the bathroom. Tap dancing and all that because you got Hershey squirts flying up at your ass. I ate. I paid half of the damn rent for that damn building while I was over there. And I had perfect stool, bitch. If they get green sauce, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Shit, I'll call them in a heartbeat. Look, I got a new tour I want to do. This is what it is. Let's go on and do it. Just so a bitch can go over there and eat Taco Bell. Made me feel like a kid again. So many good memories went through my head. 
some in good memory is gonna be my head. Uh, favorite brand of blunt? No, I don't have a favorite brand of blunts and all that. Like hell, these are five four dollars. I just need the damn paper to see. <coughs> yeah, Hershey's great. The splatters. Mm -hmm. You want in there to punish the bathroom. You got a clench up, ass all tight, all that. Walking like a duck, your feet going out like that, you tiptoeing, all that. Don't want to laugh, don't want to look at nobody. Yeah. I really don't have edibles, but I do make them. <clears throat> so I'm going to go, I'm going to make some to this week. I'm going to make brownies and stuff like that. Because I got a lot going on, and I can't be, you know, I got to be a lodger. I got to be. <laughs> I'm going to Splash Houston. I've never been. I've never been to Splash. So that's going to be fun. Make can I don't know how to make candy, Jay. Baby, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very honored and blessed to be a mean queen or whatever you guys made me or whatever you guys call me. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a gag on the nation. Because you just don't think, you know, you would be something like this. And this is like today's time. This ain't back in the day. This is like some new current shit. This is like some real, now, this uh, media is some big shit. It hit all type of avenues, all type of situations and all that. And then it's like, God damn, you know? What happened? Y'all make people, y'all break people, y'all do this, y'all do that, y'all do everything. Uh, let me see. Oh, thank you. People sound funny, but I just be myself. It is always easier to be yourself. Take a deep breath. Look at yourself in the mirror. Spread your ass cheeks open. Lift your titties up. Look at every scar. Then nobody can tell you shit. I'm still going to do Jasmine Masters class. I don't know how many episodes they showed already. But while I'm here, because you know, I could call them and say, hey, if you got time, let's do some more. And I do like <clears throat> maybe six or seven within like three hours. I just sit there, change my clothes, change my wig, sit down and go for it. So I do them all in one in one walk. And then they just release them however, you know, every week or whatnot. So <clears throat> I'm going to do more though. Cause I'm gonna take that on. The, I'm gonna take that on the road, Jay. I'm gonna hit up a couple of places to see how it works out, and see what it be, and you know, and it's gonna be you know us chit chatting and getting our Jay. I could tell y'all some things about me, and then we could go and have the conversation with everybody in the room. Because I think a lot of people just need somebody just to just, bitch, get your ass up and go to work. <laughs> and then come out, we're going to party. But get your ass up and take your ass to work. You know, be strong about yourself. Uh, no, I will not be at Two Cans in Palm Springs anytime soon. Unless I do Jasmine's Thursday night show, which I need to hit her up and see, but I won't. I for sure won't be there on those Sundays. No, I think my two can days are up, Jay. And from what I hear, it sound like the whole. It sound like things ain't going right over there. And this, yeah, so I can't be bothered with all that. I I, I can't work in places where it's a lot of drama going, and. <clears throat> 
I know it's something bad because when you got everybody talking about it other than drag queens, it's like, whoa. So I don't know about that, Jeff. But I will be out there performing for Ross Brunch. Um, for, for Ross's Brunch on Sundays next month. The second and the third week. So if you want to come see Jish over there, you you come see me there. And I'm gonna do Angina Club. Um, I don't know why it's resurfacing Jish, but I'm amazed. Praise the Lord. I just wish people knew who I was. They could like you know let's get this bitch on Ellen. Can I sit down with Ellen? I want to come out and tiptoe. You know, do a little dance. Get on there with Uncle Steve. Come out in a badass suit where he can't deny. With my lace front wig. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Why can't I get on Ellen? Oh, I love Cookie Tiki. <clears throat> Cookie Tiki. Ashalanda kind of cunt. She said, Philadelphia cunt bitch. <laughs> she is funny as shit to me. This is Philadelphia cunt bitch. I should like the kind of bitch. <laughs> I would love to meet her. But to me, she is funny. She cusses they ass out. And her favorite word is bitch. She tear that word up. I watched her the other day. Um, <clears throat> she was somewhere. And she, well, she, yeah, she was cussing out the security guard. She had a bag in her hand. Then she was somewhere getting her hair done. And then she was somewhere else. What drag queens are by? Baby, I don't know what these people are. You asking me like I know people business. Ask them. Shit, I don't know. I don't even give a damn. I have no idea what people do with their life in the bedrooms because it's none of my business anyway. You know, like it ain't really none of yours. If they don't express what they are, then if you don't ask them on your own, <clears throat> but that's not a place for me to say, oh, this person is this, this person is that, because I don't know. We ain't never had that conversation. I'm a Libra, Jeff. So, you know. Get your jab. But that's, you know, you asking me some personal business about it and shit. The other little pitch in the open. Your own business about it. Your own personal business about it. <clears throat> what, what do you mean a permanent spot? A space where? Well, I would need the girls to do anything for me, Jim. But what do you mean a permanent spot? In L.A. to do what? What am I going to do in a permanent spot? <coughs> Shows. Well, I am in permanent spots. The places that I go to, I'm permanent there. And I'm not at a permanent spot because there's too much to go around to be at a permanent spot. But I am my permanent spot. Everywhere you see me, I'm a cast member. And permanent spots mean you have to be there every week, Jeff. My own bar. I don't need my own bar. Or for what? You mean to like, to have like my own show or where I, I host something? I do too much. <clears throat> I already have that. And I do way too much. I had two of them. And I do too much. Because if I can't be there, I don't like people fucking up my shit. And if I can't be there, why do it? I have one in Hamburger Mary's, Ontario. I have one at Lips in San Diego. But I'm gone all the time. So what am I doing? 
If you're not going to be there to do the job, then don't get off of it. Simple. You know what? <clears throat> I smoke like when I'm on here because I'm I have people to talk to, but I will. Put, it don't matter to me. It really don't. If I smoke alone, if I smoke with someone, it don't matter. Cause I only smoke with you know a few people. <clears throat> I don't like really hang out with a lot of people. As y'all can tell, I'm not a loner, but hell, shit, I'm a loner. I punch this shit on my own. And I have my friends here that I can say, oh yeah, let's hang out. Well, you know, whatever, but shit, they at work. And I'm off in the daytime. So I do this shit right here. And find me shit to do. Because you can't roll with everybody. And everybody you can't roll with. And everybody think, oh, you guys on the show together. Y'all should be, y'all friends. And <clears throat> yeah, we just friends like in the club area. But we don't hang out. You know, very few. Like I could call Sonique and be like, what you doing? Nothing. Come over. Let's smoke or let's go somewhere. Okay. We, me and Sonique have like that relationship. And I have that with a lot of girls, but a lot of us live kind of further out than each other. And hell, most of the girls don't smoke. Shit, bitch, I'm about to blaze. So either you driving or I'm driving, but I'm blazing up. And I say, let me drive because, you know, I know I want to smoke. And then one time, I drove to Morgan House. We was going to Palm Springs. I said, Morgan, you know I smoke and you smoke cigarettes. The way you smoke your cigarettes, I smoke weed. She said, okay, girl, I know you smoke, no problem. I have spray to spray your car. When you light a cigarette, I will light my blood. She said, okay, no problem. But she was like, girl, you can smoke no tea, okay? Parked my car, got my shit, put it in her truck. We rolling. Baby, we was on the road. Palm Springs is maybe about 45 minutes from Morgan House to Palm Springs. She had said, Sister, could you please not smoke no more because I have a contact. <laughs> she was fucked up. Now, mind you, Morgan smoked cigarettes. She lighted, she put it out, that cigarette gone. Morgan get a cigarette. She like, it's gone. But while she's doing that, I'm still puffing on this blunt. I'm frying it. I'm lighting it. Bitch, I'm not driving. You driving. Bitch, I could get lit as I want. That bitch had asked me to please stop smoking because I believe I am high. Oh, bitch, you lit. She was, you high. Just keep your eyes open. You got it. What a ass out. Hi, la la. That bitch I went in that goddamn dressing room. She was moving so slow. <laughs> she was moving slow. Then there's one person <clears throat> that I was cool with. I drove up there with them. Bitch, you know I smoke. They said, you good. Okay. Got their ass high. They getting into the dress room. They putting on way too much makeup. They put on way too much makeup. Fucking them up. Don't let me drive with you. And you uh, driving and you let me smoke? Are you getting a contact? You getting one. Trust me. Because I'm about to light this motherfucker right on up. Welcome. Enjoy. You ain't got to inhale it. You know, smoke is itself. Just breathe it in. 
You got it. Everybody can't ride with a good judge. You're right about that, Jeff. And they ain't you driving? Oh, baby, you got this. Come on. Yeah, enjoy. You all right? You just loaded a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. You didn't hit it. You just smelled it. Contact. Nothing. I ain't do nothing wrong to you. You just smelled it. It's smoke. Just like wood and fucking fire. It's, it's smoke, boo. This one just makes you a little loopy loop. You're fine. Yep, I have fucked her up. But that shit, she was like, girl, please. Could you please stop smoking? <laughs> oh, God. Jeez Louise. I need to get my ass in the street. I can handle this shit real quick and get this shit over with. Because I want to be in the house by 1 o'clock. <clears throat> the what? What happened? And I, ooh, I'm about to go see if I can get some shirts made with that on there. Because people are really digging that. I love the fact that y'all really taking me sitting on my balls with some of the joy. I mean, I was really in pain. And people really falling out kicking over that. Baby, I had sat on my balls, okay? That's what that was. And it's like, I don't know if I should be flattered by that. Or was the tea, because I know what happened to me. And you know, nobody is saying, oh, are you okay? You know? Or how long did it take for your balls to heal? But everybody is going in on this and I oop. And I was in pain. Nobody asked is the bitch okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can the bitch get well, were you okay? What happened? You know, nothing. People really take joy to me smashing on my balls. So, you know. Did I even say I hit my balls in the thing? Because I don't even remember the video. Half of the shit that half of the shit y'all well shit. Yeah. Half of the shit y'all come up with. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, uh, thank you. I love you guys too. No, it was it sure was no laughing matter when I sat on it. Oh, we, I did. I did say it, because I really did. <laughs> because I did. I told them bad boys. Ah, oh, that was a, oh. And people going in over that. Now I tore my balls. Ain't that a bitch? I guess that's what I get, too. But no, because I don't laugh at people when they be hurting their balls. Cause I could barely look at them. Like them skateboarders, when they be on that motherfucking thing, them skateboards, and they be on the rails, and that board do something, and they hit balls first. Oh, ho, ho. no ma'am, I had to turn around to do that. Cause I just know the pain and the feeling. Uh-uh, I'm touch like that, I'm I'm down there passing out. And just imagine you just back out. Like, for women don't know what it feel like, you say we don't know what cramps feel like, trust thine ass. When we get hit in them balls and we hit the flow, at least y'all probably with cramps could walk. We can't. We can't walk. You hit the balls like that. Y'all had them bad cramps. Y'all can at least move. Y'all can moan and, and, and kind of squirm. We can't do nothing but pray. I'm telling you. 
And that's a whole nother situation. That's 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 serious business. That's a feeling that <laughs> I, you know what I mean? Out for real. <clears throat> that shit right there would just make you just wanna I don't know. It's I I it's 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 oh it's in this like burning sensation something through your whole body. You get moist and shit. It fucks up your stomach and uh, it it fucks up your heart. Everything, your eyesight, your breathing. It's the ooh. And people laughing at me. Hey, Jeff. Girl, I'm coming back to Chicago. I don't know when yet, but it's going to be like summertime. I'll let you know for sure, because when it's summertime, <laughs> I could be a prostitution junkie whore. I'm single, Jeff. I could walk them down the street on autumn days, everybody out hanging out, go to bar to bar to bar, and start having me a corona or something. If I could drink a few beers and, you know, still be able to chill, but if I drink a couple of wines, it's a wrap. I'm fucked up and sleepy. I don't know when I'm coming to New York. I'm going to hit the guy up today. I got to hit up Frankie. He does the shows out there. They still getting snow in April. I know. I don't know what the fuck is going on with Chicago, but Chicago, you know what? Chicago can have that shit. Because when I come, I'm not renting a car because they're too motherfucking high. They hide a park. They hide a park. They hide a motherfucking park. You don't ever want to get a car in Chicago. And be in the downtown area? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, motherfucking ma'am. They will fuck your credit card up. You won't have no fun. In Chicago, parking downtown. I'm never renting a car again in Chicago. Hell yeah, it's higher than California. California charges you $2 to park for, hell, three hours. They charge you $8 for two hours. And you got, and they got it to where you can add the shit onto your phone and you can pay from wherever you at to keep time going. Fuck that. Parking was a hundred dollars to park your car, a hundred dollars, seventy-five dollars to park your car. Eight parking was too motherfucking much over there a day to park in Chicago downtown. No ma'am. Everywhere I was going was between these. Baby, the Uber was six dollars, the Lyft was seven dollars. I was always in the Lyft. Uh uh, I ain't doing that. Mm mm. And then, yeah, but me and you have parts. That bullshit. Nobody got time for that. And then people be out there giving you tickets on the second. I mean, they getting them tickets on them asses quick. No, ma'am. Mm -mm, this is a place where you, you be happy to call a car service. You're not parking shit. Not in, uh, not in uh, Chicago. No, ma'am. You could decline her reservations for that car, Jeff, because we're not getting that. That man was on it. <laughs> when I tell you, this man, the, tar the ticket meter, he was on them cars like pop, 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 pop. So he was skipping like one or, or another, but he was printing out them tickets this is before he even got to the car because he was checking their license plates. And as it was showing... He can print it out because he type in the license plate and it connects to the system and let him know how much time the car has. And if your ass is out, he was printing out that ticket. He was just walking up to him, just dropping them off. Ain't this a bitch? Get me out this motherfucker. That was Chicago, Jeff. I like the city. I don't like that goddamn parking situation. Nope. Can't be bothered. 
cannot be bothered. Oh, <laughs> you disrespectful. This is going to cut off over here on this Instagram gym. They have awful toes, too. See, I'm like GPS. I put no toes. So they don't take me there. Hey, Jim, bye, Jim. Yeah, that's going off, Jim. And so is this. Y'all have a wonderful day. And I thank y'all for spending your time with me. I had a wonderful time. chit chat with y'all. But <clears throat> I'm going to get my day started. And, um, yeah. Get the gym.